what I like to do is check the ATISs and the ASOSs uh, at airports along the route of flight so I can get an idea of the trend and that sort of thing. You can track things like dew point to see you know, what's happening with the temperature dew point spread, what's happening with the uh, existing clouds. Uh, are the clouds precipitating? Are we getting uh, rain uh, from the clouds, indicating more vertical development? Also, you can talk to uh, uh, air traffic control via VFR advisories or flight following and find out what the weather's doing up ahead. If people are getting into the airports that might be a little uh, marginal, let's say, uh, you can find out that way. Yes, they're getting into uh, La Crosse. Pilot reports are great. But when the weather's really rotten, uh, you tend to have, that's the time when you need them most, and that's when the fewest number of general aviation pilots are flying. So yeah, there'll be a lot of pilot reports, but they're all up in the flight levels, they're from airliners. But yeah, if you can find them down low, uh, and if they're timely, and uh, if they're uh, close to the route of flight that you'll be on, yeah, they're, they're valuable as well. I think you have to kind of set your own limits as to how low you'll fly uh, in a lowering ceiling kind of situation or a deteriorating weather situation to kind of set uh, decision points. It can be very subtle though. You know, you can travel along and, and see um, what you think are better conditions up ahead or holes in the clouds, that sort of thing, and, and be tempted to, to continue on. But, uh, but find yourself in a difficult situation. Anyway, um, sucker hole phenomenon comes to, comes to mind. So if you're getting layers and if they're getting closer and you're having less VFR room to maneuver in between them, yeah, it's time to turn around and get, get out of there. Danger being, if you turn around, what if it's just as bad back there? What if it's such a dynamic situation that uh, the situation all around you has deteriorated and very quickly. I don't think too many people take off thinking, well, I'm gonna fly into, into instrument weather conditions, you know, deliberately. I think it's more likely that they've gotten away with it for a number of years, let's say, and they've become hardened to the fact that, uh, you know, the weather really can turn uh, 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 pretty, pretty poor in a, in a fairly short period of time.